The Ivar Gun Show. I always wanted to go and see it. It's business to business only, so as a hobbyist so far I had no chance to get in. But Cold Steel sent me this nice invitation. So I went right to their booth and met Lynn Thompson, their president, and gave him a slingshot, of course. Okay, so I'd like to give you a present. Thank you so much. This is awesome. This is Jorg's hammerhead. And I learned something today. I've shot slingshots a little bit. Uh, I've taken them to Africa a couple times with me and hunted with them a little bit. My black game scouts were much better with them than I was. But what I learned today was very interesting from Jordan is he said for maximum power when you grip this, your fingertips mustn't touch the, the base of your thumb. If it touches, you lose a lot of your power. So when you pull this thing back and you keep your wrist straight, you got tremendous power that way and you don't compromise your grip strength in any way. But if my fingertips were touching the base of my thumb, I would lose some of my strength. And I didn't know that and I'm really pre pleased to be here with such an expert, this vast repository of knowledge on slingshots and I'm just ever so much impressed with him and we look forward to working with him. Well, Good? Yeah. Lin is an expert in any kind of knife combat and sword fighting. Um, he really knows his stuff and he even can fight with both hands. So we've been concentrating on doing everything for maybe the six, last six, eight years with our right arm and our left arm. So when we spar and we fight with any weapon, we both use our right and our left. Then I had a chance to check out all their zombie killing weapons. Quote on the website. Awesome. So it's really clear. We don't we didn't choose the readers. Ah, great. Well, we'll, we'll be sure to mention that. Then, it's really good. But I guess that the zombies beware. <laughs> so these are a little bit like my like my zombie skull hammer. You know, like this and this really reminds me on the design. Of course, it doesn't have a skull ejector, so that probably would have to be attached. <laughs> I love it. Even in the, in the set, you know, it's, it's a weapon already. I think that's a great design. So it's really nice because it, as big as it is, you can put it away like this and you don't even feel it. It's very thin and it weighs next to nothing. And then you can pull it out and it snaps open like this. You know what's most surprising is first of all how sharp it is. That's like the sharpest knife that I ever had. And also how light it is. This weighs next to nothing. Okay, so. <laughs> wow, so this looks much bigger in real life than it does on, on the video. See how thick that is and how dangerous. That's an impressive weapon. Okay, let's go over to these. So these are really inexpensive, but they look very efficient. Very efficient weapons. And these here, I just learned that this is all metal, so this goes all the way through. So this really protects you, it's just not for the look. And I think they are amazingly inexpensive for what they do. This is our new Viking axe. I made this with the long horns so that you can stab with it. Um, we tried to keep it so it's light enough to be really maneuverable and cut really well. But now we don't really. And you know what I love the most? The sound. Ain't that sweet? <laughs> they loaded me up with lots of presents that I took home. And of course, I will test them all on the Slingshot channel soon. Then I walked the show floor 
to see if I can find any big knives because I love big knives. Next, I was looking for some slingshots, but Barnett was the only manufacturer that had some on display. Not very fascinating. So I decided to uh, look at crossbows instead. I've got the Ghost 400 Barnett. It's uh, 400 feet per second, 122 meters per second. Uh, aluminum flight track, illuminated scope. Comes complete with arrow and quivers. Okay, and the scope comes with it? Uh, it comes with an illuminated uh, okay. reticled scope, mm -hmm. uh, an anti-dry fire trigger, okay. and a 3.5 pound trigger pull. 3.5 pound, okay. All right, and of course it's a compound. What yes, is compound, okay. carbon okay. riser, very uh, uh, patent for Barnett crossbows. Extends uh, uh, the power stroke and mm -hmm. uh, is a shoot through foot stirrup. I discovered a great company from Sweden and they make some kick-ass uh, rifles that shoot arrows. Okay, so this is basically an air gun, right? With uh, lots of power. Um, but the specialty is that it has a method to fire arrows. Can you show us how to load the arrow to the weapon? Yeah, um, it's quite easy. I have a thin tube. Okay. Which have exact the right dimension as the arrow I have inside, so the ceiling is perfect. Okay. Put it on there, and it makes about three, four stroke with the pump. And that's only an alternative, because you can charge it from a, uh, from a generator, I guess, right? Yeah, but the idea is to use it the, the pump. The, okay. It's so easy, so... So you have to pump it how many times to do? It depends what kind of power you want to have out okay. of it, but um, normally it's going to be like three pumps. Three pumps. And on on okay. this side, you have the power adjuster, All right. so you can actually have any power you want, really. Yeah, all right. This is the arrow bow with shooting arrows. Okay. And it's quite interesting. You're loading it in the back. I don't want to push the arrow in, but push it in there and closing it, and then you can fire back. And this shoots 600 feet per second? Up to 600 feet per second. Which probably makes it the strongest crossbow available today, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> but normally we turn the power down because 600 feet is... Overkill for any kind of overkill game. Overkill for everything. Yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, is this available or is it also a prototype? No, it's a future product. Okay. So that was my day in Nuremberg. It was fun. And um, of course, I will test all the weapons that Cold Steel gave me in a follow up video. Thanks and bye bye.